Uh, I forgot to set my pedals up. So much going on at the moment. <laughs> Only takes a second yeah. door. Does. Got wheels, uh, accelerator, clutch. I've got a squeaky brake. Mm, nice. I'm just going to the service centre so I can upgrade my truck. Alright, I should, should be. Oh, I've got no gears now. There's always something in there, right? Anyway, back to. Stick the pop old chat up. Anyway, but guys, how we doing? We're live again, matey. Okay, matey. Hello, everybody. We've got a uh, hello I from just, Gerard. Sorry. I just need to. Sorry, mate. I just need to find you. Yeah, you said you were going to the thingy shop. Oh yeah, I've got to go to the um no, I don't need to. No, I'll just I'll just find out where you are and then Oh I've got no I won't be able to use my hair shifter for some reason. Why is that? I've got no idea. This doesn't work anymore. What's that about? No, it's just not working. Is it plugged in or I know it's someone's stuff, but oh, that's just gonna be one of them, isn't it? One of them nights. Yeah, it's plugged in. Yeah, I can select it. Oh, just you know when you just wanna hop on somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. The shifter-wise, I've never really had a problem with it, to be fair. But I updated the firmware. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you have to calibrate it, or is that not the case? Or? Oh, for some reason, analog's ticked. Ah, right, okay. No, an analog was ticked for some reason, so it was... You can have an analog... You can set the shifter up as a handbrake, like, but uh, an axis. Hammer it. Oh, uh, I'll get you. And it was ticked for some reason. So we should be good to go now. I'm at the garage. Which one? Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Right. Uh, where, where, where are you? Do you want to start in England? Yeah, definitely. Or do you want to start somewhere where we don't normally start, like over in Norway or. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, I've been all over, so... Have you um, got, in Poland, have you got Wales, Wales, somewhere, right in the middle of Poland? Warsaw? Yeah. Um, I've got, um... Pos Lods? Pos Pos Poznan? I've got Lods, yeah, I've got Lods. Right, got a Lods. Quickly, before we get kicked. <laughs> um, right, where we at? Hi, all. Uh, not too bad, thanks, Gerard. Yeah, sorry I missed the earlier messages. I was just chatting with my dad. Uh, not too bad, thanks. Been busy there. Jamie, how are you doing? Hey, Marky. Hey, Fee, how's it going? Hey, I'm in Lods. How do I get into Lods again? I know it sounds daft. Uh, I've gone into World Map. No, you're going to truck uh, garage manager. So, uh, oh yeah, company manager, garage manager. Yeah, oh sorry, yeah. company manager, garage manager, then map view. Uh, map view? Yeah. Um, uh, company manager, garage manager, manager. Map, map view on the bottom. No, garage manager. I haven't got map manager, map no, view. So, sorry, so you, you're going to company manager? Yeah. Garage manager, not truck manager. Yeah, garage manager. 
and then on the bottom you've got table view, map view. Oh, sorry, it was hidden behind the wheel. Sorry, big pardon. And then go, and then pick your garage, and then quick click travel in the far right. Uh, so in. My arm coming up has been. Um, so you don't have garages over there? Where, where um, are you now, Dortmund? Yeah, I'll, I can I can click on them. I'm just I'm just trying to work out what. Well, I've got to click on them before I can find their name. So Rod's right. Quick travel. Sorry about that, just took a me, me bit of a slow brain and not as quick around again. Hi hey everyone, how's on? Chuck and Bro? Just started Silent Scotty, mate. Good, thanks. How about you, Mark? I'm good, mate, thank you. Are you good to go? I am, mate, just turning around. Right, you want to find a job? Yep. Freight manager. Freight market. Lods. Right, where you got to? For Borgs, Christian Sand, that's up in Norway. What have you got way. at the top? What have you got selected? Price down? Price down, yeah. Yeah, right, so Norway, well, I've, I've got none of them, so. Why, why does it that happen then? Why do we never ever have something in the same place? I don't know. Uh. Uh, Lublin. Have you got any for Lublin? I've got some for Lublin, yeah. That's not very far, is it? I don't think so. No, it's not. You got anywhere for... Do you want to just do Lublin and then go from there? May as well, eh? Yeah, let's go. Right, right my, I, I'm a mile away from my garage. Uh, from my pickup. I am. Uh, what truck did you go? I've got, I'm in a Renault. What have uh, you got? I'm in a uh, DAF. Oh, DAF, eh? Yeah, I've gone for more like a. It's the one I built for like what we see around the roads around here. Yeah, that type I must of. Admit, yeah. There's the Renault Sport sort of edition, which I quite like. I was going to get that before. Ah. Uh, but um, it's quite a nippy little thing, you know? I never get sick of the air brake noise on these. No. Where are you? Just stuck at the traffic lights. Alright, I'll just go and pick my job up then. Yeah, you get yours, yeah. Do you have any idea why my brake pedal acts like the accelerator? Yeah, it's just in the uh, options, buddy. You just go into the truck sim options. You can't get. Can you get the X and Y axis mixed up as well? No, or you just you just, just, just click on accelerator and press the accelerator. It's not like. I know. I thought so. Like. So. How far off are you? Just, just there now. Just picking me load up. All oh, right, I'm waiting at the traffic lights for you. I thought you were behind us. I wonder where your load is then. I don't know. Can uh, you hear my squeaky brake pedal? Yeah, can I? Sorry. It's just a, uh, just a container, just like a... It's so squeaky. Never had that bother with the Fnatic ones, eh? Is it a Fnatic one you've got? No. Oh, the okay. clutch broke again. I've not got my soldier in iron. Right, I'm just hooking up, so... Are you near me, or do I come and find you? Well, I've got no idea, mate. I was waiting at the traffic lights for you, because you said you were stuck at some traffic lights, and then you never came. So it was the only traffic lights that were there? 
I think I can see you on my map, so you stay where you are, I'll come back to you. Right, okay. I won't get kicked, we'll have to just stand in. Yeah, you can move slowly if you want, I'm on my way. We'll go on to the same destination, so I'll catch up with you. I admire your... I wish me and my dad was... Oh, your Bond. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, we're very lucky. Um, get your ups and downs, but you, you get through it all. Keep working at it. When you sometimes forget you've got, you know, have you ever done like a lot of trucking without the uh, trailer on? I haven't, no. Have you not? Oh, nah. I did one day and then I picked a load up just for, I don't know, I can't remember why, but then then I binned it around the corner because <laughs> I've just been. Hmm. As you do. Getting away. What are we doing with the speed limits? We're not, are we ignoring them? I mean, I'm not bothered. I'm, I don't normally like do a hundred, but I normally sit around the sixty, seventy mark if I was on my own. Right. A nice load here, though. There was nice it'd truck. Be nice to, it'd be nice, like if we can get a, keep getting this, uh, to each place and then get keep getting different loads, you know. Yeah, well, that's what I like doing, mm -hmm. even if it is small mm -hmm. jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't go for the high cab on this either. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, mm -hmm. could you see my paint scheme today? Yeah. You never commented on it. I just said your truck looks nice. Oh, sorry, I never heard you. I mean, I, could, I, I, I saw what paint job you had on, but I couldn't like see in depth. But your truck itself looked really nice. Stunning. Best you've seen it. <laughs> You did yeah, that there, did you? I did. You've got a habit of doing that when you get. Uh, um, I just started watching you earlier with. Oh, and I'm loving watching you and your dad. Ah, oh, cheers, bud. That means a lot, it thanks. Is, yeah, it, it is. It's really um. I'm lucky to be able to. Um, do what we're doing, and um, just having a bit of a laugh as well. Putting the word fun back into life. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's quite nice just to finish the night off with this. It, 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 I must admit, I mean, it's nice going wrong with people, but it did become hard trying to manage that. You know what I mean, don't you? Just yeah, but you see, like, I've, had, I've done it a bit now, and, you know, if someone can't keep up, you just drop them and move on, uh, which isn't very nice, but for for when you meet people that are good at it to truck and, and they enjoy it as well they're really really good to drive with yeah so it is worth it in a point but you you need to be it's only going to be worth it if you're streaming for you know two or three hours whereas yeah. tonight Absolutely. at the most was only going to be an hour for me fiona said thank you neil for subbing to me oh absolutely fiona likewise Absolutely no pleasure at all. Uh, uh, sorry, and absolutely. What did I? I've just said absolutely no pleasure. That's, you you did, yeah. That's, that's so wrong on every level, like isn't it? It's rude, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the thing, then, Fiona, with the actually listening. But I've just gone past a load of farm and stuff here. I've said to Mark before, wouldn't it be great if that was actually farm sim that we were travelling through now? And. You know, the the lads are all working in the fields and where in the trucks going. Where are you? Behind you. How far? Um, I'm only doing behind. like 30 miles an hour. You can't be, I'm doing 50. I am, I'm 37, I'm doing. What? Did you crash because you've caught us now? You must have crashed. Hi Mark and Neil. Right, Minecraft, Hello. how's it going, buddy? Tazzy, 
Yeah, that was his name. Uh, Tazzy is still in bed. Awesome uh, feet. I hope he's feeling a bit better. Is, he's uh, not been well. A, is Tazzy and Fiona are they in Australia? Yeah, it's, well, t it's in his name. Right. You get it? Ah. Tasmania. Tasmania. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that just, honestly, it does, it just tickles me that, um, obviously, I'm in Germany in a truck. I oh, know, I'm in Poland, aren't I? Poland. Uh, in a truck, and you've got people from, well, Australia listening and, and just able to chat, uh, just like it was, I don't know, it just blows me away. <laughs> uh, Andrew, Andrew Farmer says, like you both. Uh, so nice, ultimate chill time watching you. Thanks, oh, buddy. Thanks. Thank you very much, buddy. That's honestly. Um... Pine and Sons, who's been on with us quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and donated yesterday. He said, four weeks' time. Hopefully, I can join in the lovely wheel, uh, the lovely bond. Yeah, hopefully, bud. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I mean, it. Uh, Try to do our best. Um, do you want to come anyway. past and I'll follow you? Yeah, 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 definitely. I'll just drop a gear. I'll just, I'll just put it into third. I'll show everybody how overtaking's done. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's a track there tractor on the left hand side so imagine if that was like Brian who's working away on the uh, on the street on the, the server on the server just oh yeah I've mm -hmm. just seen the polar bear mm -hmm. on the side oh that, yeah nice that can I pull in mate because me yeah uh, the other GPS pods come from that mirror <laughs> I can't <even> see <laughs> you know the GPS mod you know the you know in the you know the GPS, not the that one, not the one on the windscreen. The one that sits in the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, it's far. It's in my right hand, my right hand screen, and but it it puts it right in the wind mirror. Yeah, I've got a fix for you. I know you were saying, I uh, maybe do that when you hear you. Maybe to, you to no, I, I've got a fix for you as well. You don't actually need. To, well, you you do activate the multi mon. Like I told yeah. you, but you can put it on mode one, which is exactly what you've got now, apart from all the menus are on the centre screen. Uh, mode like mode two is is the single screen rendering, which That's is the bit you you yeah. don't you don't like the triple screen rendering because it brings your view too close. Well, I mean, I can give it a try. It, to be honest, a lot of the times I don't want to start messing myself about it. I mean, I on your car stuff, you've definitely gone for more the triple screen rendering type of thing now. When I was last round, it felt it felt more like sitting in a car, whereas you you did go through a stage of sitting really far back. Like like most of us, I think we've tried tried everything really. Haven't but we? Uh, yeah, but no, the the triple screen rendering, if your screens are close to you, is definitely good. Yeah. Uh, but if they're not, but anyway, as I say, I left mine yeah. on. But it's set to zero standard, but I let I I put mine on one by an accident I thought I'd put it back on zero but I put it on one and uh, and it, it basically is just exactly what you're using now apart from mm -hmm. it moves you, all your sat nav on that on the centre screen and it also moves uh, all your menus on the centre screen so when you wow. press That'll be nice. escape so yeah uh, we'll get that set up for you yeah, do okay. you know if a T500 is good I'm not sure buddy I, I've never had a T500 T500 yeah <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, who was asking? Josh. Yeah, T five hundred, mate. I can't fault it. Uh, I had four years out of it, and I wouldn't even want to. I couldn't exaggerate enough to make no. people believe how many hours I put on it. No. I, I couldn't. No, they wouldn't believe you. And I mean, I, I, I would say because there was obviously some days I didn't use it now and again. Uh, mm -hmm. But there was other days where I'd done literally 15 hours or I'd been on all day and all night. So yeah. I would say you could probably average it over the four years to be, I would say, at least eight hours a day. 
you know, when you're taking yeah. the long days and the, and the short days. I would say you could average it out, but I would say it'll be one of the most heavily used wheels out there. And um, if you take into account having the force feedback on quite strong as well, which obviously is very hard on the wheel well, itself. I ran it on 100 mm. pretty much its whole life. I also ran a 350mm steel wheel on it pretty yeah, much its did, whole uh, life and an extended uh, steel spark or quick release which weighed a ton uh, yeah. so i mean yeah I, I put it i really did test it and it you know it broke don't get me wrong and i, I had p faults with it but purely just through use N nothing to do with a wheel i mean as a as a kit um to get people going like i mean because when we first started we were looking at stuff about 200 pounds thinking well that's quite a lot of money but you just, I don't know, it was just a good wheel to get, wasn't it? Mark, who's on which screen? Uh, I don't know what you mean, but if you're asking who's in front of us, that's me dad. And what people do is you've got both of your webcams on, they can't, they, they think you've got two people on. Oh, right, right, okay, no, it's, it's yeah, I have got both webcams on, because every time I turn the face cam off, everyone wants it on. Everyone likes having the little the little one on in the top corner. But yeah, both sorry, both cameras is me. And I'm and I'm and I'm here. Yeah, possibly in the future if you know, if we if my dad starts coming on a lot more we'll maybe try and hook something up that way where we've got a feed from my dad's side. Yeah, you can stream me as well if you want. You yeah. me. I mean, as long as uh, as long as it doesn't hurt the internet where it spoils what we've got now. Yeah. Then because we've waited so long to get I mean, I, a good position. I would say I'll wait until I move and I can get the higher package because, you yeah. know, where I'm at at the moment, they only get the lowest package, which is 25 down and 5 up, where when you've got five or six people on it and then including myself, it's yeah. it's good, but it's not enough. So when we move, we'll go for the 80 down and the 20 up, uh, and, and, uh, and that'll be much better. And we, and, and we definitely have waited... And yeah, but if, absolutely. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, it, if all's there. good in the future, then yes, I will be streaming me dad as well. Uh, just another angle. Yeah. Thanks. It's both Mark. Sorry, mate. I didn't see the uh, traffic lights. I, uh, I I I gathered that. Sorry, mate. Just if if anyone was watching, just tell them not to. Yeah, quite fancy hill on the left. Where? The one on the corner, she was on the corner just going to the traffic lights. Oh, I didn't you see her. Oh, hey, it's a little canny little oh, bod, that, isn't it? Oh, that like? one in the blue shirt. Oh, it's a canny little bod, like. Ah. Uh. You'd call that a rack, wouldn't you, now? That's young speak, isn't it? A rack? Well, aye. Yeah, 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 you would, aye. Yeah. Canny little rock on it, where you see a canny little bod like, you know, a canny, yeah. back in the day like. Back in the polite. day. Aye. I'm off here, mate. Are you? Yeah. Oh, well, you are up early in the morning, it is 20 past one, like. No, I'm dropping me job here. You're dropping your load, are you? Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> end, I'm not ending the stream. You're just dropping your load instead. <laughs> You're an ass. You drop your load, mate. I'll drop my load, pal. Right. I've just I've appeared to <laughs> I've entered. You dropped your load, now I've entered. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess. I, I am a mess. <laughs> I can't. Uh. <laughs> Imagine when I'm live streaming, right, and someone will say, "Who? Who's that other person in the uh, in the movie?" Say, "Oh no, that's just a mess." <laughs> Yeah, you are a mess. Oh, we stalled. It's like how many different names do you do you have for your dad? <laughs> oh, I couldn't write them all down. <laughs> a few. Yeah. Most of them aren't very nice to say. <laughs> I know. Excellent. I've got an excellent score. <laughs> yeah, I got I got excellent as well. Now, 
Do I go back into job market? Yeah. While I'm here. Yeah, freight market. Right. I've got. You haven't got uh, Milano. Uh, Mon Montpellier. Have you got Montpellier? Milano and Montpellier. I look now. No. The first, the first on my list. Uh, I've got Carlisle. Oh, that would have been nice. A big driver. You got out to the yeah. UK. Just looking now. Not, not. Why is that? I don't get it. No, I've got Graz. Uh, I think it's something to do. You know, external contracts at the bottom. Yeah. I think because you sign up to the truck and multiplayer's web, and I think you need to be going on there so you can both get the same job. Oh, all right. Uh, Eddie Stobart is the big truck company in the UK, right? Yes, mate, yeah. Mark and your dad should do multiplayer Eddie Stobart trucks in. <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be good. good. It would, actually, yeah. Anyway, back to... Uh, yeah, so we're going, yeah. where, where have you got? Sorry, where, where's your furthest job? Me fir no, it's the furthest always the first one on your list. No, well, just tell us what your first one is. Montpellier. Where's that at? That's southern France. Ah, oh, I won't have that. Because I don't have the France add on. Right, Milano, that's about. what? No, that's um, but, same sort of area. Is that in France as well? I think it's the bottom end, too, something. Uh, Marseille. I don't have. No. Oh, Milano is Italy. Oh, Italy, I will. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't got a garage there, so I haven't been there. But that would have been nice to go there. But um, well, I'll go to Milano. But I mean, that's that's huge job. Right, we'll go then. So I mean, trying to think if I, I've got not, I can go to Australia, which is five hundred miles. Austria, sorry, which is five hundred miles. And then and then we'll go on to Milano from Austria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, I'll check them. At, um, Trying to think which which way it'll take us. Yeah, I've got no like real big jobs to be honest. I, yeah. I think I'll just follow you for a bit. What's on your list then, anyway? Just 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 to go through your list so I can try. I'm and just gonna move my truck in case I get kicked. Soon. Right, on my list, I've got... Two seconds, I'm just going to move a truck like you. Uh, and uh, Armstrong Haulage. <laughs> uh, hello, Infinity Dave, how you doing, bud? Uh, yeah, because you've got more DLCs than me as well, that's the problem. Only, only the... Um... So I've got Carlisle, which is a huge job. That's 901 mile. Well, wait, I'll, I'll, you take the Carlisle job and I'm going to find something on the way. Oh, no, you could take something to... Can you not take somewhere to like Amsterdam or... That's what I'm looking for. I've got Bratislava, so where's Bratislava? Uh, Click on it and it'll just tell you... It'll put the red line up. Oh, that's, uh, that's in Slovakia. Ah, have you got an Austria job? Yeah. Right, I'll take the Bratislava. You get the you get the uh, Austria job. And then we'll get a, we'll make it up from there. Where, where's your job to Bratislava? Bratislava, which is starts with a B. It's Slovakia. Above Hungary. Next oh yeah. Year. Well, I've got one to uh, Budapest. Bang in the middle of Hungary. Right, let's go then. Just take that, eh? Yep. Hi, Mark. Craig, how are you and your dad? Fine, Craig. I'm good, mate. Right, Mark, I'm going to sleep. Night, mate. See you later, Jamie. See you, Jamie.
We are hauling through the night. Ah, we. So I'll meet you in I'll meet you in Lublin, Lublin town centre. Hey, right, yeah. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, bloody squeaky pedals, do me in. Uh, Dave. I never guess what I've changed my sim gear. What have you got now, Dave? <laughs> That's Dave who's always changing. Yeah, that's Dave, Dave, that. Can you tell that? Um, I said to drive? No, he's never had one, no. Uh, can you tell your dad that I said hi? Yeah, hi, Dave. No, not Dave. Uh, Endless Gaming. Endless Gaming, hiya. Right, I'm just going to find you now. Yeah, well, I'm going to pop into the uh, the mechanics place on the way out just to change my truck slightly. Oh, that's good then. I'll find that. I, I can add that to me. Um... No, it's just on the way out of here. Just turn left where you are now. I'm just coming out of the junction. I can smell you from here. What you what are you eating tonight while you're driving? I'm having I, uh, I never eat people. on the streams because you can hear it through the mic. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, do stuff to the do stuff to the interior. Yeah, I'm not done out to this truck. Why? I don't know. I, just, I, I think it's because I always add things to the truck. So when I did this one, I just want to keep it like what you kind of see on the road. You know. Yeah, but. Dave's got Fanatic V2.5 Cub Sport base, CSL oh, Elite nice. pedals, uh, Fanatic shifter, and the new CSL Elite V1 rim, and High Marks Dad too. Why did you go for the P1 rim though? Because that thing looks terrible. Like not not to be awful, but Dave's Dave's had a lot of the different fanatic stuff anyway, and just like the BMW rim, he's had the Porsche rim. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he's had the BMW rim, but he's had the Porsche rim, which is like their yeah, best. Rid, I was going to get it off him. I know. So but he's got he's got rid of, he's got rid of the best stuff in my opinion. But as you say, he he never loses out, and he always buy it back. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm interested. I'm sorry, Dave. If you're listening, I'm interested in uh, what you've noticed in the 2.5 version of the base. I mean, not that I'm thinking of getting one. I just think each time they do a version, can you actually notice the difference? You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, should you not be in bed, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I think we should all be in bed, to be honest. Uh, it's not my bedtime. Mum went to the toilet about uh, 20 past two, she said last night. She said, I could still hear you. I said, well, it was only after that that I actually fell asleep last night. I just put my head on my pillow and just... Just I went. Just, yeah. I, was still in a I was still in a mess. I took myself in and out. <laughs> but it's nice when you can go and you just had a nice relaxed, um, you know, Drive out. Oh yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah, trap. Can you put a put colour scheme on? No. Oh, God's sake. This truck's only five hundred and ten horsepower. I've got to look at that thing. Well, just shut your eyes. Oh, I've got a better load. Look what you look what you're hauling. I oh, know it's a bit. It is a bit pants like. But once you've been driving a bit longer, like me, you can actually get a better load. <laughs> Love the sound of them there. Uh, Till you got me to go on again, you, and I hadn't been on uh, Euro truck since. Well, probably the last time I was on with yourself. Oh, no, I think I was probably on my own, but 
it was definitely a while ago, and you just forget how well they sound. And oh yeah, it definitely threw for me once that once I'd got it, and you talked me into that again. So that farming sim you got me into, trucking sim you definitely got me into. Oh, definitely. And I was never going to play a farm sim ever. No. And uh, and you and you really me... weren't like. No, oh, no, I, 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 I wanted to get it just so because you wanted me to get it. Yeah. And I, that that would have been fine, but to get to get it, and then find I liked it was <laughs> even more of a shock. Tell me when I can move off, mate. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need to hurry up because I'll get kicked, won't I? I'm not sure if you're if you're in the repair shop. But I don't think you can, can you? Yeah, they still kick you. I've been kicked on here before. I'm not going to bother with my wheels and all that because I haven't got time. No. I put the wrong tire on nice the No, it won't, mate. No, you're you're wrong. Hey, you're right. But I feel like spending a bit of time on that type of stuff, as you well, know. Well, I, I, I do as well, but uh, I just don't want to. But you're young, you don't mind getting turned. You don't mind turning out like a mess. No, that's true. I am a mess. Imagine well, like I'm gonna have a scan. I'm gonna have a scan you cup in me daft. Uh, I've got a and I've a scan your truck. I've got the Michelin man on the dashboard because he reminds me of me. Yeah. Like a get big blimp. Right, I'm going to get like away massive. now. massive. I'm not saying I've put weight on, but I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> right, confirm order. Right, let's go. Well, I've just heard you, I've just heard you start up as well. That was good, that. Do you, Mark, do you play American Truck Sim? Yes, mate, I do. You haven't got me playing it yet. No, you you like it. It's a completely different game. Yeah, you you were saying that. And I, that really, I was really surprised that. Nah, you did that. obviously, yes, it's based on the same thing. But yeah. it's just the trucks are different, the maps different, the jobs are di everything's different. Trailer yeah. types are different. It's just not the same thing. Uh, can you add me on Steam? Uh, where we at? Hi Jack, how you doing, bud? Thirty-one watching. It's good yeah, for you. it's well. good for trucking. Hello everybody. Then um, yeah. Yeah, the five ten horsepower is just not great, but I don't really drive the daft trucks much, so. No, well, they're daft, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, have they... Look at the clouds, have they, have they upgraded the... Um, graphics. Graphics at all. It definitely looks that way, doesn't it? I, I painted my truck for you. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, lovely. Yeah, nice one, Maggie. Why are you only doing 22 mi two miles an hour? I'm looking at your truck. Ah. Oh, who's going to lift first, eh? Me. <laughs> yeah, it was graphics update in 1.28. Yeah, yeah, there was. Uh, ah. D Dave, what's it like compared to ETS 2? Dave, it's just different. As I say, there's not as much content in it yet, because it's new. But uh, it's just different. The you know, the Peterbilt trucks and things are just so different. Uh, and then obviously the maps and things are just just different. It just it is. If you like trucking, you'll like yeah. it. No doubt. Hello, I'm from Turkey watching you. Okay. Well, Turkey fantastic. Watching your two lo I love you. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, blows, blows, just blows me away that... Fiona says it's not purple. It isn't, you're right. What's purple? No, she's saying it's not purple. My What's truck. not purple? My truck. Your, your truck or mine? No, that's what she's saying. Like, you said a nice paint job. She's saying 
It's not purple. She likes purple oh, trucks. Yeah, She's yeah. got trucks oh, in. Like, but that was a but that was a private joke that I had no chance of getting that at all. It wasn't a private joke. Yeah, but no, how was I going to get that ever? How, <laughs> how, how was I ever going to co compute that? Do you need putting in a mental home? I mean, I know Brian likes uh, now. I know he likes them Voltra tractors. Hey, Fiona was the first one with a Voltra. She loves them. Ah, no, right. she 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 was before Brian because she's been what? on the channel longer than Brian, I think, and uh, she got the purple Voltra. She always asks me every map we go into. She gets purple. Uh, I think it's the S series Voltra with a front wheel and black wheels. Here's the thing. What, what about if you could get your, you know, like you can in the truck? I've got my uh, dashboard names on. Yeah. You know, and you you could do that in tr in the tractors where you, you know that's right. That's such and such as tractor's got your name on. Oh, I mean, the o you know, like the the older tractors as well. Yeah. It'd be great if you could get a game where you could like, even just change the wheel colour or you know just. Yeah, number plate or. Ah, it's just just simple. I'm not I'm not saying I want to put like you know. A, a turbo on it and that, and oh, well, I mean, I, get, I, I wouldn't I say you. no, but <laughs> I get you. I've got quarter of a tank of gas. What are you on, like on gas? Uh, oh, I'm three quarters. But yeah, just. Uh, Maisie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Macy, sorry. Yeah, uh, welcome in, Macy. Uh, nice to know where people are, mine. I must admit, while I'm. Uh, I'm in Fort William, if you know where that is. Yeah, mate, we're, we're in Scotland as well. Yeah, we're southwest Scotland, so... Yeah. Actually, Fort William's a, a good drive away, and somewhere I always wanted to go with you for the mountain bike and the, the downhill. You know, just to go and watch. Yeah, it was somewhere we always going to go, yeah. But when you get... Don't forget when you get moved, you're already a damn sight closer. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, can I, should I, should I go for an overtake? Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, say, don't forget my wife's sister who comes back quite a lot. She, she's in Aberdeen, so. Yeah. Which is a three hour drive mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me know when I'm fast, mate. Yeah, you're good. Miles. Oh, I've just got done speeding. Endless. I'm near Newcastle. Yeah, well, that's where I was brought up, mate. Not far Durham. from Newcastle. Durham, Durham area. I was in North East, yeah. Uh, I have to go set up ETS now. Cheers, Matt. <laughs> All right, Dave. I need to sort me squeaky brake pedal, that's what I need to do. Is, is, has, uh, has Dave... Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think what to say. Has, has Dave already got ATS, or, is it, or has he not had it yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, I used to play with Dave on it. It's just when he said he's just going to set it up, is it... He changes uh, his equipment all the time, doesn't he? Oh, of course. That must be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> be, I hate setting it up for, like, five years. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, look at mine. Just plug it in, and um, I was going to ask him how he's faring with the um, Oculus and how much he uses it. Oh, all, Dave, all the time. Is he? Oh, I mean, he, we were laughing because I was only talking to Dave not so long back, and uh, he was telling us obviously, I think he had to get a car or something in real life, you know. So yeah. all this gear had to go, and he always gets it back again, which is great. Yeah. Uh, and that's you know, if that's the way you are, fantastic. Uh, anyway. So he got rid of everything and he was just running a 27 inch uh, monitor, but I mean, his monitor was like a four or five hundred pound monitor, it's a 144 yeah. G-Sync, top of the range monitor. So he's yeah, running yeah. that, so it's a good monitor, even when he was on triple screens, and his eye rating went, I think, if, if I remember correctly, I think it went down by like 2,000. Yeah. Uh, and then he's back on the Oculus, and uh, and he's straight back up to 4,000 eye rating on the eye racing. Really? Yeah, he said straight away the Ocu not having the Oculus or the HTC Vive absolutely just killed his eye rate. And I've noticed a lot of people have said the same with the VR because of the spatial awareness. Yeah, yeah, I can believe. I mean, but 
say you get that used to the Oculus, right? So yeah. It, it's like replaces your triples and all that or whatever like that. But then you, not all of the games support it. No, I mean the biggest, the biggest problem for like someone like yourself is is once something is leaps and bounds better, you're not really going to go backwards. Exactly. So you would be one of these that would try it and go, this is amazing. Keep your triples, granted. But yeah. then you'd be like, but I don't want to go and play that game because it's not got VR. And I think you're not that type of person normally, but because it's that much better, yeah. you would be. Uh, but I, I like looking around, I've got to be honest. Like As much as I loved you know, having a go of the Oculus uh, and the immersion factor, you'll never, ever, ever beat it. Uh, unless you go and sit in a real car. It was yeah. just, it was one of them things where it was like going out for a track day. It was like putting your helmet on and your boots on, you know, and physically yeah. getting lined up, getting nervous for the race. And that bit was brilliant, having the race, fantastic. But for what we do, just the driving around, you're looking around your room, you know, yeah. you're checking out other yeah, things. Yeah. It, yeah, it's not that side of it, it's not practical. So it did, it, <laughs> it, it, it gave me too much simulation. I wanted to just get back on and play a game for a bit. Uh, See, my other way of looking at it, which, you know, again, I don't know whether it would work like that, is could you just sort of save it for something like iRace and sort of say, right, and sort of say to your wife, you think you would if you were racing anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be tied up. It's no good shouting me to take the dog out because I'm, I'm doing a race. So you, you can get sat down, you can get your. Yeah, of course headset you could. And, yeah. and, and you know you're not going to have your headset on like for uh, like. Look how long you your headphones on for. It it does make a difference when you take them off because you think, oh, at least to get them off me head. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've had some uncomfortable headphones and I've had some really <laughs> comfy ones. Absolutely. But, but it's yeah, not so the comfortable, is it? It's not that. It's just getting them off. <laughs> so so the thing with the Oculus, I thought, well, could you just have that to have that experience with that one particular game, but. My problem would be then is well, what if you just wanted to say play a race room or yeah, you know th then you'd start like putting it on a lot more and then well you know the effect that having headphones made for me I, I yeah. never wanted them no I I couldn't use speakers because the the noise for neighbours and the rest of the house is just too much oh yeah but again um, I mean to be fair it's getting to the point now where like a lot of the games you play are all VR supported. Yeah, but you, but that's then leading to what I'm saying is that you then spend a lot longer in yeah. your headset. Yeah, than yeah, you yeah. Would. Um, I would have liked to have think you could just sort of put it to one side and think, right, I've got, I've got the VR when I'm I racing, and then mm -hmm. like Project Cars Two comes out, and then you think, well, that that looks a fan, as you said, a fantastic experience, and yeah. then you think, oh well. I'll, Euro truck. Oh, is that VR support? Oh, it's always been. It was DK1 support, this. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, it's Could always had. It's always had. And I tell you what, I mean, I tried it obviously DK2, and I also tried it on the Gear VR, and yeah. just. It's just phenomenal. Like, it just. You just can't. It's unbelievable, and it's that spatial awareness, just, you know, looking down at the white lines, and just. Mm. It is incredible. And truck sim wasn't too bad for me, purely because got the radio so although I couldn't yeah. you can't watch the telly I've got the radio in, in the truck so you can just stick that on yeah, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That, that side of it took away that you know not being able to listen to anything Mark's dad buy Oculus <laughs> do it yeah 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 yeah, yeah I, I think he would mate but it's the same boat as me and I think the same boat why we both never went like higher resolution or high uh, refresh rate nothing to do with the fact it's not better because it is uh you know 4k is better than 1080p 1440p yep. is better than 1080p granted however yep. it takes more horsepower to run it especially yep. over the three screens and then you just it's not just the extra cost of getting the extra equipment it's then well you need a better graphics card then when the games come out you need to upgrade yep. your graphics more and you just put yourself under more strain and then if you're like me where you haven't got an awful lot of you know spare money, uh, all of a sudden your wheel will break or something will break, and you're like, oh, hang on, I've just spent everything on getting the next thing. So, oh, that was tight. Sorry, I thought, uh, 
See, I looked, I looked across at me, man. I'm gonna have to reverse a bit. I, I looked. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hang on, I'll get out of your way. I was looking for me mule on the right hand side, but I can't see it. Uh, press your F. Oh no, yeah, we'll we'll get you sorted on that. Yeah. So. Just yeah, my bad. I just. Yeah, just totally my fault. Man. I can't even blame you, can I? Like, can't even. I mean, you could, but no I one's gonna believe working. you because we, no. <laughs> we all saw you. We all saw it happen. You are sitting behind us, so I mean, I don't stand up. I can't else chance, do I? Yeah. I think the thing with the Oculus and one reason I'm I'm pleased I haven't tried it yet because it, if it is that much different then I know what it's like with the uh, graphics if you've seen a game on full all singing or dancing graphics then you go back home and start playing on your own and yeah. it's nowhere near you, you just it's just human nature you, you just yeah uh, I mean and for I, I had not one amount of money really when I got my stuff set up and you know, you've got to try and get what you can that's going to last as long as possible. I mean, as I say, don't, I think for, you know, pe people who are in... I'm going the wrong way on my sat now, but I'll just follow you. Okay. I should have followed you, actually, now. Yeah, because my, my job was before yours. Well, you come past and I'll follow you. No, because I'm going the wrong way now. That's what, what I'm saying. I, I, well, I'll just follow you. And then we'll go back for my job. We're already on the motorway. No? Well, hey, you know me, don't... Do you not, don't do you not think? Choices. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm easy, don't... I've got 231 miles to go to mine. Well, I've got 229 miles, so... Oh, it's pretty early, it's close then. But uh, I still think yours is in another direction. Yeah, I agree. But no, what I was going to say was, for people like my Uncle Sean and that, and people who definitely... Definitely the people who are limited space, and limited time. Well, I was just going to say, but the limited space and the, and depending on where you are, because not everyone's got their own room and things. Uh, you know, if you're somewhere where you, you know you can yeah, put yeah, the ocu yeah. you can put the Oculus on, and all of a sudden you're physically sat in a truck, and everything yeah. around you is just gone. Fantastic. Uh, and someone like my uncle Sean, who spends you know very little time on, he just goes on to physically race. He just wants yeah. to put his gloves on, shoes on race yes, properly yeah. since you know yeah. proper serious get on with it yeah. and that I mean, is yeah. perfect but for someone like me who i'm dealing with the dogs all day you know i'm in and out my chair all the time uh it's just the, 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 having the three screens when i get them again it's just it's just the way to go for me yeah i just uh i, I just as you know you saw a lot of love and i'm happy where i am so the, uh, the chance of upsetting that happiness by just trying something I'm, I just, I don't know, I just worry about it, uh, but I'm, I just know, I just, you just know it would be better. Oh yeah. Um, and as I say, fortunately, neither of us have got one, so I can't have a try. No, <laughs> no, it's just, as I say, for me, with the big screens, with the three of them, I get more than enough immersion, you know, from what oh. I'm after. I'm, I am interested if anyone uh, is listening who has the Oculus and does wear glasses like myself. Um, how do you manage? You know, is it is it in a comfortable experience or? Well, I can you know, answer. Kind of... I can answer that slightly for you. Oh, that's okay. Then you fire away. I know. I've watched reviews where people have said it isn't comfortable right. uh, with glasses, which is pretty obvious. Uh, that. However you can get prescription lenses made for the oculus which is going to cost you well they don't look that a deal actually to be fair uh don't forget i mean when the oculus came out it was 800 quid it's now 399 off amazon so and well the question on that front then is if you can get a prescription lens for mm -hmm. them you would definitely you can send, would you then send your prescription up to them uh, so they would make them up. Yes. Yeah. It's right, not. It, 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 it's a different company that make the lenses. Well, it, on the cycling front, it's a sunglass manufacturer who would do that. Uh, you send your prescription away, and they would incorporate them in your. You know. Uh, there's your answer, Dave. You can get lenses for the Rift, 
but the HT yep. vi the HTC Vive is better for glasses. Oh, right. So if you want to well. not get lenses and just go for glasses, the HTC Vive is better. Well, uh, well, uh, uh, if something is Rift compatible, is it also HT Vive compatible just by because it's VR support? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Is, 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 oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Pr 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 pretty much. I mean, there'll be obviously there is Oculus games, but pretty much all the stuff you would play it, is is yeah. you can do both on both. And it, I know you were saying that. Uh, Obviously, if Samsung have made the lens part of the Rift, uh -huh. then obviously the Vive's going to be the same resolution and all that, isn't it? Yeah, but I think the 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 Oculus is a slightly better resolution. Resolution, I, th I think, but I'm oh, I'm, right. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. It could be exactly the same, but I'm I I, I think it it was the same. Was it the same height but a different width resolution or something? I can't remember completely, but... No, that's fine. I just, um... Yeah, just... Do you need fuel yet? Uh, I will do, actually. I mean, it's not in the red, like, it, it doesn't tell me how long I've got, but, uh... If you press... Pretty sure there was something that tells you. That's all right. I just got some anyway, mate. I mean, nice bit of countryside we're going through. Dave says same res, but the Rift has a slightly clearer due to the lenses. Okay. Oh, thanks, Dave. I have three thirty-five inch monitors. It's so good. Yeah, well that. My, d my dad runs three forty-two inch TVs, which won't be as good as your thirty-five inch monitors. No. No. However, the uh, definitely on the ultra wide front, I know not through experience, but just through using bigger screens, I would miss the height. Yeah, I, I, I would. I would miss the height. I like the height. I, I like being able to tuck my screen down the back of me uh, wheelbase, and then all of a sudden, y your wheel feels, you know, in the game. And I like. I just like the height. I do. I've seen yeah. so many ultra eyes now, and they, they, you know they look. I don't know. I just I, I've never driven one, so I might sit in it and go, "Oh, hang on, this is the best yeah. thing since sliced bread." But does anyone know how to fix the G29 in ATS and ETS when the wheel just shakes? I would say your force feedback's too high, but I could be wrong. Oh, I didn't realise you were turning. Sorry, mate. I would you, you were answering a question and I didn't want to... No, 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 you're fine, no. My terrible driving skills there. No, sorry, uh, you made me go back over that question and answer some... Cause it was no, that's all right. Uh, yeah, Dave's answered it as well. All right, OK. So is it... Obviously, Dave's listening. Dave, are you using um, a combo of Rift and screens, or have you just done away with screens altogether, or you just, own, you just only play games that support the VR? He did say in his previous comment that he only plays VR Sims. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sorry. But like, like I did say before, he's got a, a Asus. Uh, gaming monitor like the one on the top of the range ones that he's had for a while yeah, yeah. and he's just got that permanently mounted to his rig so he has got a screen a 27 inch and a good screen yeah so uh, uh, yeah and a, 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 it's 1440p uh, yeah, yeah. so it's higher than 1080p so yeah it's a good screen but yeah uh, he pretty yeah, much yeah. just I, plays I obviously he's equipped where he could play something like farming sim where it isn't VR supported but not yeah. you know he, he, he he, he got rid of his triple screens. Uh, Dan is another one who's in. Dan's in the chat. Who used yeah. to race with us, the fast lad. Always oh, spoke yeah. about. You, you, you told me about that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Silly quick. Uh, yeah. He he's actually because he used to be when we first started racing with him. He had you know, his wheel was knackered, and uh, and he had a, a small monitor. I think it was like I kind of think what it was. Maybe it's a 24, 22 inch. He was just yeah. so quick. And then he went yeah. to 24s, triples, 
Yeah. And then uh, he, he was just telling us today in the other live stream that he now has triples and VR. Oh, right. Which is awesome. So, really, well, no, in, in a way, he's, he's kind of answering the question. That the, the thing I was going down is, you know, why not keep them both so you can enjoy? Aye. But, but does, does the risk then spoil it for doing that if you just say, well, like, I've just... Yeah, I've just, I know. Yeah, I think. You know. I mean, obviously they can answer you for you uh, for, for that side of it. But for my personal thing, I think you know the the triple screens. The be the best way you can game, you know, immersively, but still game. It's still just mm -hmm. a game. It's just having yeah. fun and that. Whereas the rift's a bit more serious, you know. Yeah. And you're gonna be you're gonna be taking it serious because once you get past that fun stage, you're putting it on, going in all your games and going, oh wow, this is brilliant. And you actually get into close racing and that. It, obviously, it is quite a serious thing. In the uh, in truck sim, then when you're using the Oculus, uh, or even in farm sim, can you use Oculus in farm sim? No. Well, you can. There's a company that's uh, called Vorpex, who they do it for Grand Theft Auto as well. Uh, right. They convert games over so you can play VR games. Yeah play normal games in VR uh, yeah. but it's not like full support yeah yeah it's um, you go yeah. right here and then gonna go to that petrol station uh, left here sorry yeah good spot are you going left anywhere here no ah right you, Jack I, we need to follow you Well, how, how many miles you got left from here? Um, ninety-two. I've got ninety. So I'll follow you first. Well, I think we're, I think we're ninety in the opposite directions. D yeah, I'm so saying I follow you first. Yeah, we'll go go to the petrol station anyway. No, I mean, like I say, there's no two ways about it that it would be better, but I think. Like it, so I can keep my a level head and still enjoy what I've got and not sort of get down and say, oh, if I had this, I'd be better this that and the other, like, you know, so. I mean, the good thing is you bought three decent screens, you know, that aren't going to need changing anytime soon. That's right. Uh, you know, you're going to need to upgrade your graphics to keep up with them screens anyway uh, at some point. That's right. So there's a cost, you know, you don't know if any of your equipment's going to break and most of it's all out of warranty now. So it's one of them things if you just go and spend money to just, just to try and better yourself, if you can't afford to then replace your stuff that you've already got, it's like, well, what happens when something does break or something does physically need upgrade, not just because you want it? Yeah, exactly. Um... And games, there's another thing, games are there. You know, ju just keeping up with all the up and coming games, expensive. Yeah, I mean, as you know you, yourself, I do like to try and support uh, by buying DLC where I can and spend my, my pocket money. Oh, yeah. And, and things like that, you know, so. Um, and as you say, yeah, the, 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 the games are certainly getting more expensive. Oh, yeah. And, and I mean, to be honest, the, the naughty side of it is the. Are you are you full? No, I'm gonna get some. Well, I've probably got enough, but I'm gonna get some fuel. I may as well. Yeah, the. I don't know if it's naughty when they're putting these. Right, you can get the game, but now you've got this premium one or the. You know, they do like three variations, aren't they? Like the oh, normal yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, did they with Battlefield One, didn't they? Oh yeah. You, you, you think you're getting a bit more for paying that little bit extra, but it. It doesn't seem the case too much. Yeah. I could be wrong, like, but... Dave said, oh. Mark and Mark's dad. My dad's called Neil Dave, if you're wanting to know. Uh, yeah. Are you getting P cars too? That's a yes from yes. me. Absolute yes from me. And an absolute yes from me. And he's answered uh, the question I was just going to ask him. Oh, hang on, I just need to get rid of somebody. Just bear with me, I can't see what I'm doing. Goodbye. Yeah, Dave, no. um, absolutely. It looks it looks awesome. And I did say to Mark I'd seen the trailer for 
Forza 7. I've not had a Forza title. Well, no, sorry, I've got Forza Apex, but it's only, I don't know. Uh, it's just test. It, it looks beautiful and all that. And but it's just test. Yeah. And Forza 7, will you be able to get rid of the in-car steering wheel and all no. that kind of carry on? No. Nope. You won't, no? No. I guarantee you now. I mean, I'd put money on it, you can't. You won't be able to adjust the seat and all that. Don't get me wrong, if, if you can, brilliant, but if if they were going to go down that route, they would have done it with Forza Horizon 3. Yeah. So. Well, absolutely, or even Apex just to try it. it well, yeah, you know, and, and that's what you'll see as Forza 7 becomes closer, you will see stuff getting added into Apex, I think. Because it's purely just a test platform, and they're never going to make it good because it's free. And I've played some of the other fours of six and things like that, which are far better than Apex. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the graphical effects in Apex are oh. stunning. Yeah. Uh, Josh says, "What server you on?" Uh, uh, Euro two. Euro, Euro two. two. Polsky Farmer. See you later, and Mark's dad. See you later, mate. Nice to play with you again. Uh, Dave says, I've tried PCAS too. Yeah, I know, Dave, you told us, buddy. I was uh, I was talking to you when you were trying it. Oh. And I told me oh. dad that you'd said it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely be having it. Oh, just no doubt. But the, see, the, the difference with me and you is we don't get games to replace games. It's not like I'm no. getting that one because it's better than that one. We're just not like that. It's just another game for the collection. Well, I had Race 07 on <laughs> the other day. And I mean, I've done that several times where, you know, you put it on. Uh, Is it the that? Racing, the Sorry. I, I racing subscriptions run, run out. Or yeah. See, they run out or it's within the next couple of days. And until they've got it half price to redo again, I just won't bother. No. But if that means that'll replace me feed cars until such time as they've got half price. Someone said uh, November this Black Friday is generally yeah, it, is it, a half price deal, so it is, yeah. Uh, they, did a, they did a quarter off, didn't they? And I nearly did it then but I thought, you know what? No. I'm just using it so not I'm just not using it enough. No, I, I agree. I, I wish I wish you could use make, make, with the cars that you've got the um, you own the rights to use. Oh, bloody hell! He come out of nowhere. Just wrecked me truck. Oh no! Completely wrecked. Yeah, just. Um, well, you can't drive it. I'll just I'm reset. Not, I'm, 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 I'm not going. All right. Does he wreck his truck as well then? I don't know. Just, just chatting away and he just came on the car and just ran straight in the side of my truck. Well, he said sorry, so. Uh, That's all, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, just, I, don't, <laughs> I was just like doddling along talking to yourself and then, because uh, the roads have been so quiet and just, uh, mm -hmm. he's coming past now, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, he stopped and took the time to say sorry, so... Oh, he's away, like, I mean, he's absolutely flat out. No, 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 no problem at all. I mean, like I say, he probably had enough room, but I, I just saw him across the corner. I just, uh, I hadn't seen him coming that fast, and I, uh, he just... I have got a hell of a shot. Oh, I, I've had that before, like, I mean, to be honest, when I'm dawdled, dawdling around at the speed limit, I should maybe just go into the Europe ser uh, one server more because it's got the speed restriction on, yeah. and you tend to get a lot more clean driving because you can't speed. I mean, I, I'm like you. Yeah, I like getting my foot down, and I, uh, just while I'm chattering away, I don't really have the same concentration to just. Uh, I'm quite enjoying just pottering along, you know. Uh, so, yeah, just took me by surprise. Ryan has asked. Uh, Neil, what headset do you use? <laughs> I was using the Corsair um, oh, 7.1 wireless. 7.1 wireless, but it was about 70, 75 quid or something. And then it was the older version, £100. Well, 
all the version anyway, so I was using that anyway, and then about not a month ago, maybe even two weeks ago, I saw something on, no, hmm. I had a go at Mark's headset that he was using at home. You did? Um, and he said, it's only cheap, but I put it on and I thought, hey, you know, that's a hell of a sound out of that. Yeah. And so Mark sent me the link for it, but when I looked uh, in Amazon, there was the newer version of it. No, you could only get the newer version. Yeah. The newer version. So I ordered it for £17, and you know, it's a wired one, and you're just not really expecting that much. I don't know why, but you just think, well, £17, it'll, it'll do as a spare, what it'll do when we back, we've run out to me headset and all that kind of carry on. But yeah. I've never used the other one since. No. Um, Max commented about the difference in the microphone. Oh, you're so clear. I mean, even com if you watch this video back compared to me, yeah, uh, you know, and my headset was an awful lot more money than that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the mic's just nowhere near as good. It just isn't. But, hey, I needed a wireless headset, and I don't really think you can get a decent quality wireless microphone. No. Uh, because of the the wireless side of it, so but I'm hey, just I'm just trying to think what the name is. I've got the it's it's uh, Technet. Technet, yeah, that's yeah. it. Technet. Seven point one. It's on Amazon, Brian. I'll uh, I'll Facebook you the link. And honestly, yeah, just <laughs> you uh, you knows what I'm like. I just what? took it up and put it to one side. Right? I, I don't think I own this garage. I'll pop them yeah, back. Hi, hi, highly recommend them. Uh, I'll, I'll pop in to get this one. Garage. Yeah, I'm gonna pop in and get the garage. Are you gonna get go and get repaired? Uh, I'm okay actually, son. Ah. I, I was I was expecting it to come up with all sorts, but after I'd got the truck restarted, it was uh, it was fine. And just to answer your question, Dave, my dad has the Club Sport V V2 base. Yeah. He has the uh, club sport, uh, the white, the hub, the universal, yeah, the universal hub, hub. Yeah. With, a, with a couple of aftermarket rims. He has the F1 wheel, the BMW wheel, the V2 yeah. pedals, which is what you yeah. asked, and the club sport shifter, and then he's got the CS club sport uh, DSD panels as well. Yeah, that's me. That's me set up. And uh, I kept hold of the Club Sport version 1 base that I had, um, just in case, just you know, because obviously... Just keep it safe for me, breaks, yeah. If, if it breaks, I've got to send this one away to get it repaired, and then what do you do while well, I have to wait? Um, yeah, and if you get rid of it, what am I going to inherit? And of course, as Mark's already told everybody, that it's coming to him anyway, so I've got to look after it. That's true. I mean, I'm going to need a backup. So when I get your V2 base. And as Mark would say, anyway, whatever I own is Mark's, and he treats it that way as well. Oh, well, I'm still looking after your V1 pedals. You no, you, you're testing my V1 pedals. Well, I can say to you, the, uh, the brass bushings in them don't last um, as long as I've had them. <laughs> no. The slop side to side in them is immense. But is completely <laughs> to be expected. And to be fair, I don't think they were built to be used teal and toe sort of shifting as much as you no. would. I, I, I don't. I'm not saying... I just don't think when they sat around the ta table at the time and designed them, that sort of side-to-side -side heavy footing... Because heel yeah. and toe is not really a soft thing, like, it, you know... No, not when you, you... You watch a Denny race car. Yeah, it's a hard blip. I don't know whether I sent you the link, but I actually watched a video and showed it actually so, showed someone proper proper heel and toe. He was using his heel to brake, yeah, and then the ball of his foot to blip the throttle. So oh. the pedal was set out, the pedal box was set out in a way that meant, but he he really stamped on the bloody brake when he he really pushed it on like it was. I, I think I don't know if it was a an old. NASCAR, something anyway. I can't remember exactly what it was, but by Christ, it was it was rough. 
it wasn't just a smooth, you know. Yeah. I think Fnatic don't get, don't get me wrong, because even for the price, uh, they're still just a consumer grade stuff. They're not like, um, look, you know, the Active Force stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think. And that's on the level of. What you were just going to start about to go on to there, I think, is the fact that really the V2 is sort of belt driven for its price. Yeah. Uh, you would just go direct drive now yeah. for most yeah. people. Uh, yeah, why not? yeah. Well, you know, if you're going up to that sort of cost, you would just think, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just pay the bit extra. Pay the extra. If, if you're that serious about it, and I mean, I'm not, as Mark knows, I, I just don't change my gear if I'm happy with it. Then I'm quite a loyal. I'm quite loyal to a. Well, I like things all to be the same. Uh, yeah. If I if I bought something and, the, and everything works, why change it? Just because then I'd be frightened that I've sold something, bought something, and then I don't like it. So if I like something, I just think well. well I think I'm. I think I'm quite satisfied if that's a better way to put it. You know. On the other front, front door really like, you, you did it the other way as well where. You bought a second hand wheel just to make sure yeah. you wanted to get back into sim racing. That's, that's that, right, I did, didn't I? Yeah. And then you went. So, yeah, I got a cheap wheel just to get started, which was the F430 Thrustmaster wheel. Yeah. And then you got exactly the same wheel, right? I'll follow you now. Yeah. Yeah, you got the yeah, same wheel, right. and then you went and got the Fnatic Porsche wheel. Uh, that's right. And you, you you thought that was absolutely brilliant. Again, second hand, you got the club sport uh, pedals that with was, it as well. That, uh, was, that was chalk and cheese again, wasn't it? Yeah, Dave, I was going to get an Acuforce, but the whole setup for the Fnatic was shy of 1000. But to get the same with the Acuforce pedals shifter is about 1700. Yeah, however. I hear what you're saying, Dave, but like you've got the P1 reel, which the Fnatic one, which is the cheapest one they do. Whereas with the Acuforce, you do get quite a good quality hub with it. So thing, I would say if you were if you were comparing, I would say you would need to compare it, the V2 base with the Universal hub yeah. price. But you look know, at Dave, look if Dave had had a Universal hub and then wants to wanted to buy a and a another one, if you can't find one second hand, then they've must have they've gone up in price loads. You know, if you want the, so I don't know how Dave manages if he's bought like a not so nice wheel. Well, he say he's saying it's a P1 Elite wheel, which is a new one. Oh, Appar okay. apparently it's nicer. But no, Dave, uh, it's full Alcantara. All I was getting at, Dave, is. The Acuforce has it comes with the hub where you can adjust the steam, you can put different rims on. So if I was going to compare the prices, it would be against the Fnatic where you can put the different rims on. I think that would be yeah. as fair as you're going to get. Well, yeah. And the Fnatic hub is expensive, so if you put that on with the V2, it won't be too far off. But again, you've got the OSW which is cheaper again. But again, we could go on all night about different cost of things, but. My personal thing is I'd rather just pay the extra two, three hundred quid and just get the direct drive, and you know, if I was going to go down that route. But for what a, for what I do, the Thrustmaster stuff does me. Here's the thing, Dave. How how well have you found uh, that actual rim anyway, compared to the BMW rim that you had, or, or you he, know? He hasn't had the BM. Uh, sorry, the Porsche. Porsche. So, you know, is it is it just as just as nice or do you miss it or do you think oh well if I kept is it the same size you know I, I can't really can't place it in my mind it's that long since I've looked at the stuff yeah Dave looked at that as well it's 1400 for all yeah yeah Dave I wasn't getting at the fact that the the direct drive was the same price I was just getting at the fact if you were going to spend a thousand pound you it could pay well. the little bit extra just to get yeah. you know a whole different wheel because it's not belt through it's a completely different life you know yeah. it's a bit like the when you go from like the, the logitech stuff from 180 quid you get the geared stick you know and you get the clutch and then you go thrust master you know you're 220 quid in the wheel and rim uh, the base and the rim 
and then you're 100 yeah. quid in a set of pedals and 100 quid for the shifter so all of a sudden you're at 420 pound compared to your 180 it's a big jump but the quality is completely different the belt driven is completely different all the, the stuff's different but yeah it's just just one of them things like if i was going to go that far but as i say for me that's a huge jump because i'm going yes. from like 400 pounds worth of gear to you know 1500 quids worth of gear that's a massive jump just, uh, I, it, I just it, haven't got the need you're completely going into a different market but having said that uh, when we were looking for wheels at 200 pound and then you <laughs> you saw the thrustmaster set up and you think no 400 pound can i really go that far and yeah it, it's amazing how we did end up getting talking ourselves in thinking well god yeah because i was just no way i thought god yeah, I, I, i'm not doing that again I, all the hobbies i've always had will always end up dear yeah, but because you always try and buy the best you can afford. Best I can afford, but then what can you afford? It's like you keep pushing yourself a little bit extra, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm but still I'm still using my T500 pedals today, and uh, you know they're four year old now, but probably longer. To be fair, if you actually thought about it. I mean, to be fair, them version one when they work. Um, oh, brilliant! I mean the. You can't, I can't even fault them, even though they've had two or three different versions since. It's still like, still a nice pedal, and then as far as I know, it hasn't had a um, a, a thingy on a brake brake sensor load cell. That's, that's uh, got to be the original load cell, isn't it? It is the original load cell. That's what I'm saying. And people have been through like ten of them, and you're like, I don't know how. And I, I mean, I've used these pedals and. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not, I'm hard on my gear through use, but I certainly don't mistreat the stuff. But I don't know how you would mistreat a set of aluminium, you yeah. know, there's sort of pedals nothing, like that. There isn't anything to miss, like I say, apart from using them. There's so little moving parts on them, as in, and it's all metal. So yeah, they are just well made for. If that's all the money you had, and and you've got a chance to buy a, a set of the version ones. You just buy them. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. But the version ones are holding the money. That's the issue. Are they? Oh, I mean, you can pick up. You know, you'll be, you'll be better off trying to get like a, a wheel and pedals. Because I mean, I've seen the version ones for like 150 quid. I mean, obviously, the the listener won't realise that you were just uh, doing a, a test review for me. For oh yeah, I got one. I got the Fanatic V ones off me dad just to have a bit of a test and you know see if I, mean, I like them and. And yeah, they're every, all right. <laughs> every month I used to say, well, are you, have you done your review yet? No, I, I know, a little bit longer. And then yeah. And a year went past and then... <laughs> and two years. Yeah, I'm not really sure yet. You know, I'm not really there. So, well, I'll keep trying them soon. I'll just buy something different. Uh, D Dave has said, I haven't got it yet. It's still on pre-order. Should ah. be here soon. Ah, right, so you haven't actually got the wheel yet. Okay, okay. Okay, good. fair enough, Dave. Uh, I was reading and OSW can get uh, ME issues so I put it off yeah it's just one of them things and I was the same when I got this and you know my dad's the same with his fanatic stuff yeah, absolutely it's, you know absolutely. They, all, they, they all have issues the biggest thing for me is I don't care if I'm going to break it as long as it's under warranty and, and as long as it's yeah, repairable I'm purely on the fact of even with my new wheelbase I'll break it you know, I mean, look, if I if anyone's yeah. gonna bust it through use, it'll be me. Uh, you know, just it's on all the time. I have the force feedback turned up a lot. I use big wheels on it, even on this one. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, and any any use having the fan on it, it's on all the time. But it's cool, so it's great. I mean, I did I didn't when I got my shifter and I broke the shifter, and there's so little in them to break that obviously it was only a spring. When I opened it, that it snapped. Yeah. Uh, whether they put a heavy duty spring in, or whether it was just that they were trying a different manufacturer, I don't know. They never got back to me and told me. But no. I just said, you know, UPS came and collected it, and then a few days later, UPS and it was back on my doorstep. So, <coughs> from a personal experience, I I haven't had a bad experience, even from something breaking down. No, because you had your power supply problem as well. Oh, that's right. I did. I. That, no, that was fine. Dave said another reason is Fnatic uh, holds the money really well. 
and I am likely to change it at some point. Yeah, I <laughs> Which is a fair point, well made. I mean... Jack Ping, welcome back, bud. Not really there to talk to Dave, but you, you must really enjoy that... Uh, oh, he's good at it. Like, I've had something for a while, or I'm, I fancy a change. Go and get some of those. The excitement of that new thing coming, well, I get that when I come up into my room and put my wheel on and... I've got my BMW wheel on now, and I just sit in my rig, and so I, I used to be like that, where I used to like getting something, but now I just you, like. Are that you gonna move. overtake this guy? Aye. He's he's steady away, like. I think he's drunk. Is he? Must be. He seems in his own lane, and that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. You're, no, you, you're, you're really. really on. Uh on his phone. Uh, I, th I thought he was going to be anti-social there, but he's... No, I beeped. He he didn't beep. No, oh, right, okay. I like the ones where you beep at them and then 20 miles later... Oh, yeah, you hear it in the distance. Oh, he, flashed, he flashed us in, yeah. No, yeah, I, about, I, you know, I, I did. Oh, you did? No, I, I'm, so. be I'm behind you. <laughs> you don't even know where you are, do you? Well, because that bloody thing in the mirror, I, my right hand mirror, I can't, I can't see and I keep looking at it. Oh, well, it's getting dark, it's getting dark anyway. It's a good job, like, I listen to Emma and I've gone to bed early. Oh, I am pleased you. Because when you were on the... Uh, bollock tomorrow. Oh, my bad. At 20 past, um 20 past 12 you did well to say we'll, we'll end the stream there and then start another one because <laughs> I've got to be up early and I thought well okay it's not like Mark like but well we'll go along with him because you sounded like you knew what you were doing oh I had you I did, had good honestly. intentions but you, you did honestly the way you came you were very forceful you were like quite scary in a way I'm doing this but you did the opposite I did Hey, so you, wanted to, you wanted to drive out, and I'm not going to see you for a long time, am I? So, <laughs> no, no. Well, you're, so. Apparently, you're coming to the house with us as well, eh? Every day. Knee rig there, you know. I know. Are you sure, eh? I, I've got to wash the car though. The car needs to wash. Oh yeah, I bet our car is filthy. Yeah. So, no, no, mum's mum's coming over as well. Who's buying the chips then? Oh, of course. Ah, excellent. I'll just stay for a few months. Okay, can I fit me rig in your room? <laughs> Probably can. It's fairly small now. You don't really need that couch in your room, do you? Oh, I'd be quite happy you being in the back of the room. Wouldn't it be good out having two webcams on saying... Well, you, you just know. need it at wide angles. You set one of your wide angle lenses up and get oh. both of us in. <laughs> You, you need a wide, wide angle just for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not far behind you now. Get lost. <laughs> you get two. You get two. You get two, you get two of you out of me. Aye. Only the top half of you. <laughs> <laughs> Still got racing legs. Well, I don't know. These two were quite embarrassing legs now. But never mind. They were good. They were good ones over. Ah, uh, they used to work. It did work, I did it work, I. No, I know. You're turning it's off here, you know? No. no. I decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> they, they catch me out, them ones. Oh, I know, because we don't have them in the UK. Not like that. And no. Like, especially when I'm chatting. And, I mean, obviously, I'm, I've got the right side of the... Uh, I'm on the right side of the road, like so. There, so if we can get Dan, I don't, I think he's not on the stream anymore. But we get Dan on, on Euro Truck, and we'll get Dave on Euro Truck, and then there's J James and the other guy in the pink Scania who was on the other night. He's good. Yeah. Uh, and J James is great as well. So that you know, there'd be five or six of us. And then just go in one of the lower. They're just in this one, I would say. Yeah. It's always around about the thousand to fifteen hundred in it, and it's a two and a half thousand server, so you just get straight in. I don't want to go in somewhere dead, but no, is that someone behind you? 
Yeah. But I, coming up here, mate. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, assume, I'm assuming he's on the stream because he follows us all the way. Oh, going right here, mate. Oh, well, if you're on the stream, buddy, hello. I I'm keep I keep driving like I've got a trailer on, but I haven't. You should have dropped back behind the uh, the ladder if he's if he's following. And Dave says I can probably get a few people. Awesome, bud. Yeah, definitely, Dave. Nice to uh, get on with. I'm not not got on, on with him carriers to be honest with you. No, I know. I mean, to be honest, I mean Dave knows the trouble internet wise so I'm not gonna go over all that but oh I should have turned left there. Can I join uh, next time? Yeah Andrew definitely we'll uh, we'll probably set up more of a you know a, a, a time when and where uh, notice, yeah. a, a, in a certain place for everyone to meet and go from there really. Me and my dad have got mainly most of the garages around the map so we can we can jump around quite easily. Generally, yeah, I did quite well on me, and we've we've always had a good drive out. I mean, I'd love going from uh, England and all the way across Europe, you know. Yeah. I love the sound of the indicators; they're dead crispy. Oh, I know. Which you're going left, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, get rid of this load, and then we'll. What, what time you staying up to? You normally do do the drop off or? Yeah, just do the we'll do the drop off and then uh, we'll 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 get off. It's, uh, you've got to get up tomorrow. Dave will be starting fresh, so we'll be limited. All right, Dave. Yeah, well, what we what what we would do, Dave, is then go along with what. Uh, where you want to meet up and where you want to go. Yeah, we'll, we, we will come to you. Absolutely, would you? Pretty much like Amsterdam, if you go and get a garage there, it's probably the um, best because ev everyone well, goes through Amsterdam. Southampton? Nah, yeah, yeah but Amsterdam close. seems to be, when you're online, everyone's uh, there. I thought I had to go in there, but it must be this next one. Oh, I've gone past this, sorry. Gotta turn around, mate. Yeah, all right, mate. I thought I thought it was, but it was just the um, oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> I thought you were just going to turn around at the end, are you? <laughs> I thought I had the trailer on the back. What a dodo! Thank you, buddy. Let me out. Oh, damn, I've done it again. I make a mistake and then I make it even worse by forgetting I've got the trailer on the bus. I mean, I'm just, I know we're laughing about it now, right, but, do, you know, would it happen in real life where people just get, like, if they've done a lot of travelling without the trailer? They just forget. Yeah. Yeah, just, I mean, I don't know, they make a real m mistake and you're just like, well, but yeah, I forgot, I forgot that was there. Must do, must do. Because we, we don't, we don't always have our concentration fully on what we're doing, even in real, real world, do we? Oh, oh no. Uh, badass, uh, beats, cool setup, thanks, mate. Are you coming in here tonight, Dad, or into this place? Uh, where are you? <laughs> I'm waiting for you in your drop-off place. Oh, right, yeah, I'm, I'm there now. Are you sure? Oh, well, I've just dropped off. Oh, right. So where, where were you then? Um, carry on round the back where you would go and pick a job up. Right. I'm there. Oh, wait, okay. I just thought I'd park up and end the stream.
Well, thanks everybody. It's been another um, another fantastic drive out, Mary. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, guys. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, that'll be at the moment. That'll definitely be the last. Uh, my last official upload for the next five to seven days. There possibly might be something coming on the channel, but nothing for definite. So if you see a video get put up, fantastic. If you don't, I'll be back in a week. Uh, other than that, please go and check out the other content. Feel free to subscribe uh, and you know check out my dad's channel, which is RC Tanks Army. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers now. Bye.